This is what we're faced with this morning. <laughs> Four three man arm busts. And with the man, the myth and the legend, Phil Ward. Hi guys, well today we're out on a quick wild camp up to Bradwell Moor Trig. We're currently in Cavedale, but I'm not alone. I'm with the man, the myth and the legend, Phil Ward. Go and check his channel out. So we're off for a one-nighter up over on Bradwell Moor Trig. And uh, hopefully we might get a decent sunset and sunrise, although not looking good. So we'll catch up with you a bit further on the route. Just up the steepest bit of Cavedale now. Nice views of the castle. And Phil. <laughs> so just the boring bit now up and over the top to Bradwell Moor following the limestone way. Well we've made it for the mist and the fog to the top Bradwell Moor trig so me and Phil are now going to pitch up our tents just down here some lovely couple of flat spots that I scouted out the other week and then we'll get a brew on and get warm because uh, it's quite a bit of a breeze going and you're getting quite damp with this fog and mist so before you know it you'll be hyperthermic so Tents up, brew on I think. Well, tents up. We've got the new poles in this time. These are nine and a half mil. Um, North Tent will give you them free of charge because they upgraded them. I think after um, Fulton and Dave highlighted a problem with them from a morality. So we're all pitched. Phil's there in his land shant. And uh, there's the wonderful views of the trig and mist. But yeah, we've got the same bivy bed in there. Beg, bed. Firm rest pillow, the old firm rest near lights underneath there. Zambivy beds all tucked in on there, and then there's an X ped mat underneath. Just got the old OEX Hero stove out so we can have a brew, and then we're all set for the night. No fantastic sunset tonight, I don't think. I suspect we probably won't have a great sunrise in the morning, but you never say never. So, yeah. There we are, all pitched, all ready to go. So I'm going to crack on now and just get to get a brew on and uh, probably talk shit for a few hours. So yeah, I'm just going to get a quick brew on now. on the old tree on top of Bradwell Moor. It's getting a bit breezy now, you can see the tents behind us. It's bitterly cold wind now, so uh, I don't think we're going to get any sunset or sunrise tonight. So Phil's gone away to cook his tea, so I think I'm going to do the same, get in a tent and uh, see what we've got. I think we've got a fire pot, spinach, dal or something or other. And then I've got some curry peanuts for later on to try and then some sort of porridge for the morning. But what you can see up here is these old workings. I think they're probably uh, old quarry or lead mine workings. I don't think they're anything like a... We're talking about whether it might be a sinkhole, but I don't think they are. But yeah, normally you get a lovely 360 here of right over the ridges like Russia Pedge and all that, but I bet visibility now is probably about 60, 70 yards. <laughs> but anyway, we're still out. We're out in tents. I'm having a bit of a banter and a bit of a crack. That's the main thing. These nifty little things. Like little clips that Phil just lent me that you clip on just to hold things out of the way. Get off Amazon, I think. They're quite nifty little things, they are. This one, the door pulls over like that, but uh, yeah, quite cool that. Anyway, we're going to uh, get our dinner on now, I think. Get some water boiled up, ready for that. We're in a tent now, nice and warm. Get out that breeze. Just cooking a dal and rice with spinach fire pot. So we just put some water in that on the old hero and then uh, yeah let that uh, sit there for 15 minutes and then yeah we'll have some food get us in there get, get us warmed up so yeah just gonna have a chat with Phil over there he'll show me his alcohol stove I think I'm gonna get one of those uh, for the winter especially a nice little bit of kit that and uh, he's got a fry up in the morning <laughs> I think I'll either have my porridge here or just have a coffee and then um, perhaps have a bit of a bacon butty from the uh, bakery when we get back. It's only about two and a half miles in, so it's not a bad little walk back. 
but absolutely grim out there. Kind of see bugger all, um, and the wind is bitter. It's meant to be quite warm today, like 12, 13 degrees and 8 degrees at night, but that wind, and it's not lifting the clag either, really is getting to you. But, you know, out in the north end, got a Zen Bivy kit there, all ready to go. So, yeah, we're getting used to putting the kit up now. Uh, the temp is up fairly quickly, you know, in a matter of a few minutes now. This is really a nice bit of kit. I heard recently that they, uh, the ground sheets now, they don't clip in, they don't come with the clips on a new one. Not sure why, because that's one of the biggest benefits of this. I just fold it away, fold it out, peg it out, and away you go. But the new poles seem to make it a lot, lot more rigid. Certainly it's a bit breezy now, and it, it's not really moving an inch at all. You know, you wouldn't even know there's a wind outside. So I'd probably say about maybe 15 mile an hour out there, maybe a little bit more, but we'll see what the night goes like. And um, I think the weather's similar tomorrow, so uh, we probably won't get much of a view. You never know, though, it might clear. We'll see, I think sunrise is about seven o'clock tomorrow morning. So we're gonna, sun sets about next half hour or so by about five. So you've got a good 14 hours <laughs> of darkness. So I'm sure I'll keep myself occupied. But anyway, we'll get stuck into this food. I think we're in the tent for the night now, both of us. So yeah, we'll crack on. There we are. That's certainly different. It's a uh, spinach doll. Uh, had better, had worse, but quite spicy actually. But we'll get that down as, get a snack down as. Later on, we'll get another warm drink. It's getting quite cool now. And they'll uh, get snuggled up in this uh, sleeping bag, I think and warm up, catch up on the socials and whatever, but not bad these five pot meals. I mean, they're about eight quid a pop, so, you know, what I pay eight quid for that. I've had others which are quite nice. This one's a bit gritty, but it tastes good. It tastes okay. So I'll get this down as, and I'll catch up with you later on when I have a bit of a brew before I go to turn in for the night. I don't know if you can see that, but these are the curried peanuts from fire pot. Covered, mate. Jesus Christ, they're spicy. <laughs> They'll, uh, they certainly uh, got a bit of a kick to them. So yeah, we've just settled in the bag for the night. It's about six o'clock, I think, at the minute. Long nights, aren't they? Um, been chatting with Phil for a bit longer. Because these peanuts catch up on the old phone for a bit, I think, and probably be an early night, I suspect. Well, I will have to nip out for a slash at some point. <laughs> but anyway, we'll crack on. Um, Zen Bivy bag again. It's really, really comfortable. Quite warm. Got this hat for the birthday off the missus. Got a, like a torch built into it. So that's quite cool. And uh, yeah, just uh, bed down for night, get warm. And then uh, probably more than likely catch up with you uh, in the morning. So during the night, the wind really did start to pick up. I think the original uh, forecast from the Mountain Weather uh, Information Service was the winds of around 10 miles an hour at night. But when we got to sort of midnight, it really did start to pick up. So around 1 o'clock in the morning, I started to check out the latest forecast, and this is what I got. 25 miles an hour with 43 mile an hour gusts. Uh, but as you can see, uh, the north tent was holding up really well. Not much movement in the poles at all. Um, the poles are the new nine and a half millimeter poles so i was really impressed with that so a good test of the kit uh, in quite high winds which then continues for the rest of the day I 
on grass. We're all packed up and ready to go. It'll take us about an hour and a bit to get back. Yeah, we still need views of the Peak District. By about 100 metres. <laughs> anyway, crack on and catch up later. See old uh, old Moor mine there if you'd have missed that looks quite spooky but that's an old lead rake that used to go across over there to the left quite a few mines up here from the 17th century at Lewes Hill just in the cloud behind the castle that's uh, quite a cool sight we're heading down now past Peveril Castle into Cavedale where old Matt Smith caved his wife's head in in the house of the dragon and then we're back home Have a great shot there, better one of uh, the castle. And Phil's making his way down very carefully on this slippy limestone. It's an absolute nightmare. Go on, then, yeah. <laughs> We've had a few brown, a few uh, arse tightening moments down there. So, yeah, that cloud just giving a top of Lou's Hill. This is a bit where Cavedale comes Cave River. <laughs> so, when Cavedale was formed, I mean, this was all a big. Uh, shallow tropical sea 340 million years ago uh, there was a river cutting through here after a period of time and it went underground formed a cavern here you can see it and then the cavern collapsed in on itself uh, and that's what you're left with here there used to be an arch at the entrance but a couple hundred years ago that collapsed too but yeah you can see this is probably still the original river i think there's a spring up the top there that comes through so it makes it extremely dicey but it does clean your boots well, there we are, bottom of Cave Dale now, just about to head back into the village. You can see the castle behind me, uh, so we've managed to traverse that sti slippy little route down the bottom. So yeah, we're pretty much uh, winding it up now, so I'll probably just catch up with you when we get back, back to my house. And then, uh, yeah, I'll go and stuff my face full of a fried breakfast, I think. <laughs> <laughs> the alarm. Oh there we are back in the marketplace. Fantastic camp there with Mr Ward. So yeah it's good that one it Phil. It was brilliant let's, let's YouTube. Breezy. Let's YouTube each other YouTube it. <laughs> <laughs> Just to confuse things there yeah, it's a good camp that. A bit windy yeah, overnight. Yeah it's, it's been brilliant. It's tested out the equipment. Yeah yeah we never um, got up to about 50 mile an hour. <laughs> yeah. For me it was challenging getting up. Um, I'm not sure that's entirely down to my backpack being uncomfortable but <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a quite it's, steep climb up. Yeah, yeah. yeah, really enjoyed that. Yeah. Fashion, so but to do it again, mate, sometime. Definitely, yeah. is yeah. the next one. I'll, I'll yeah. shake your hand, but I've got a camera in it. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> See you then. Catch yeah. you on the next one, guys. Brilliant.